Hey, so Frito lovers, this is Ben Ramos bringing you this week's mukbang from my palatial home here in the Northwest Bronx. The Bronx is the home of hip hop and salsa. I am bringing you today just dumplings. These dumplings come from a place here in the Northwest Bronx in the Riverdale section that's called just dumplings because all they sell are steamed or fried dumplings. I have on this side right here, I believe it's the chicken and chive uh, dumplings and on this side, I believe it's the pork and cabbage. Took my blood sugar, doing pretty good. Gonna splurge a little bit today. I'm probably gonna have this big, nice plate of dumplings and then maybe a very, very, very tiny, small snack right before I go to bed to balance it all out. The blood sugar has been looking really good, you all. And the same thing with David. My partner David is making sure to fight his pre-diabetes and he's doing really well and so am I, kind of proud. Let's do this mukbang, baby. Look, I'm dumping, I am dunking, not dumping, dunking what I believe is a chicken and chive fried. Yeah, I should have gotten them steamed, but I want it fried, I want crunch. I'm trying to give you some ASMR. <laughs> uh, mm. Mm. Oh, the chicken and chive dumplings. Delicious. Mm. Chives are wonderful. They're kind of like in the onion family. And it's like a ground minced chicken. Ay, que rico. Look, y'all. Look at that. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> so good. So frito lovers. So like I told you last week, was it last week or this past Monday? I want to make my second mukbangs of the week a little bit more like a tasting video. I've never had just dumplings, dumplings before. Um, well, the name is a little bit of a minute snowbird because they do actually have an appetizer section that's like tater tots, french fries, and sweet potato fries, but that's it. The appetizers are sweet potato fries, regular fries, tater tots, and then everything else is either fried or steamed dumplings. Mm. Let's try the other dumplings that are on this side, which are supposed to be, um, these are, chicken and chives, and I believe these are pork and cabbage. And of course, some of this wonderful kind of vinegary dipping sauce, probably like a little bit of vinegar and soy sauce mixed together. Mira, 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 mira. Mm. 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 Really good. So frito lovers, great day. It's beautiful out. I wanted to try something new and interesting, interesting with you guys. A tasting video of just dumplings, Chinese style dumplings, really good. I hope you guys are doing well. Mm. delicious of course the dipping sauce is like a soy sauce chinese vinegar sauce really good tangy refreshing you know it's got that great acid flavor and what can i say about these dumplings they're full of vegetables they're full of meat very well seasoned delicious they're a treat they're crunchy that was also another reason why I didn't want steamed. I didn't want it to be all pulley and I want to do some ASMR for you guys. For years, I've been wanting to do ASMR with you guys. I just, I can't, I can't hold it together. I whisper and all that stuff. 
And I just start laughing because I think it's kind of ridiculous. I love ASMR so much, but I think other people do it so much better than I ever will or ever could. Oh my God, these dumplings are so good. Mira, today was a day. I, I ended up running program again. My director is off um, visiting the Dominican Republic to see her family. It's, and it's a wedding that's taking place for her cousin. Mm. Mm. So I'm running program. It was a lot, a lot happening today, but nothing serious, nothing crazy. It was great. It was a nice, a little bit crazy and hectic, but still very much a boring day. No drama, no insanity. No one was hurt. It was a good day. What I will say, let me give you guys a preview. The last couple of days have been beautiful in New York City. For those of you who don't know, I, I'm pointing in this direction towards a window that oversees a park. I live behind the park that's called Washington Walk. This area of the Northwest Bronx is called Kingsbridge Heights. That's my neighborhood. There is a lot of colonial history in this area. Apparently, and I live across the street. As I point to the park, there's, as I point to the park, there's also a reservoir there. There's a lot of world, not World War II, insane Independence War history in this neighborhood, which is why two two famous things. This neighborhood is known for being part, you know, having the history of the independence, the the War of Independence, and people marching around here and using the water lanes that are close by to move around New York City or the cotton, the New York Colony. But also, this neighborhood, Kingsbridge Heights, is known for being the kind of like the neighborhood next to the neighborhood where Edgar Allan Poe lived. In fact, his his cottage, Edgar Allan Poe Cottage, is across the street from my school. My school is called the Poe Center. And then two, a few blocks away is uh, PS46 and it's called PS46, the Edgar Allan Poe Cottage School. So there's a lot of, a lot of like that very Eurocentric history around here. So this is called Washington's Walk and it's a park. Wow, I have digressed big time. Sorry, y'all. History lesson and civics lesson you did not want. Washington's Walk is right there. And this neighborhood, when it gets nice, there are people who go out into the park, which I face. And I bring, I used to, for the newbies, the new sofrito lovers, I, I tend to give you guys Parque Chronicles. Parque is Spanish for park. A lot of shit goes down in this park that I'm able to see because I'm on the second floor and I overlook the park. And the park is not very, it's not dense in terms of foliage or anything like that. So I can see and hear the park very well. The last couple of days, there have been people out in the park enjoying the good weather. And whenever there's people out in the park enjoying the good weather, drama, conflict, hilarity, and just incredible things ensue. I might have some good parque chronicles for you guys because the minute something good starts happening in this park, I stick my head out the window and I look and I listen and I'm like the nosy neighbor. I'm like Mrs. Kravitz from Bewitched. I just go out there and I stick my head out and I just look around and see what's happening. A few summers ago on this channel, if you look back, I, I used to have some mukbangs where I used to be like, oh my God, this happened in the park and that happened. I've seen everything from proposals to dog fights to fights and there was even a, a serious issue of uh, violence that occurred in the park. A shootout. I'll report, I'll report it all <laughs> in my mukbang. I don't know if you guys can hear, but there's some good merengue being played outside. My Dominican neighbors from all over this area there, I don't know if you can hear it, but they're in the park. And once they're in the park, I have all of this soy sauce and vinegar all up in my beard. Once the neighbors start hanging out in the park, vamos a ver lo que pasa. But right now, lo que está pasando, what's happening right now is these delicious, fried dumplings. They're crunchy. I love that they're fried, but they're not oily. I have not 
tasted any nasty oil flavor. You know how sometimes from the, from the Chinese takeout when you order fried dumplings, the first flavor that hits you is that nasty old oil? Not at all, very light. The flavor, it's not oily, it's very light, very crispy, and very protein and vegetable forward. Like the chives and the chicken come out, the pork and the cabbage, very pronounced flavor. Mm. 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 Delicious minced pork with like crunchy cabbage giving it a little bit more texture so it's not all mush just so delicious guys so, just so delicious for just dumplings dumplings mm. i told you i'm gonna try to bring more of these taste test mukbangs for you guys there are a lot of restaurants that are opening up in riverdale and adjacent to my area and neighborhood in the bronx so i want to at least one of my mukbangs is going to be a little bit of a taste video, tasting video. Mm. I hope you guys are doing great. Had a great day myself. Touch base with David. David's, uh, he got a new haircut. He looks adorable. He looks so young and adorable. I love it when he gets haircuts. He looks so nice. Me, oh my God. I'm like the fucking Puerto Rican werewolf in London. I look horrible. Y'all, I just let it go. When it's winter, I just let it go. And I mean, I know we're in the spring and about to transition into the summer. And I think a few mukbangs ago, I was going to say I was going to rip all this out. I want to, sometimes there are mornings where I just want to yank it out. I'm going to get a buzz cut, a crew cut. I mean, I'm going to be bald. I'm going to take all of this and turn it into like a little goatee, little candal. Like we say in Spanish, un candal, like a little lock. You know, my little, my typical little goatee with... My mustache. Some people say the goatee is only this. And I think if you technically, if you keep the mustache into the into the actual goatee, it's called the Van Dyke. I don't know. I don't know hair. All I know is that I also need to get all this out. Some of you have noticed my skin is a little, little crazy. And it's because I've got very oily hair here, very oily hair here. And my skin is like, hello. Hello. The rosacea is coming out. Hello. Too much. Oh, like I touch my skin and I can feel it's so oily. I, I try to exfoliate my skin as much as I can. Look at that. I'm a beauty mukbanger. I went from mukbangs to I'm a beauty YouTuber now. Oh, my God. Let me eat one more dumpling. You're like, Ben, I'm here for the food, not for your bullshit. Okay. Mm. Mm. I ordered 10 of the chicken and chives and 10 of the pork and cabbage. I'm eating five of each. Mañana, esto me va a durar. Mañana, I'm gonna have a couple, probably for, for lunch. I'm gonna pack it in my lunch. Mm. Mm. I'm pretty sure this is that simple soy sauce and Chinese vinegar. So delicious, so tangy, so light. Delightfully acidic. It's just ooh, so good. Tengo hambre, mi gente. I'm eating kind of late. I'm having a late dinner. When I got home from work early for once, um, I had to get on a Zoom call. And when the Zoom calls happen, I don't order in the middle of the Zoom call. You know. Mm, so good. Had my Zoom call and then had to, you know, get on here and have my delicious um, dumplings. I'm glad I'm able to bring you another video, guys. Oh my God, I'm, am, am I actually finishing a meal on camera? Oh my God. Mm. Uh, again, look at it. It's moist, but not oily. Crispy, but not soggy. Love it. Mm. Mm.
sofrito lovers. Finishing a mukbang on camera. This is this is historic. Like I said, I want to bring you for the second or third mukbang of the of the week. I want to bring you more taste testing. So I've never had these dumplings before from this place. Just dumplings on Broadway in Riverdale. Excellent dumplings for uptown dumplings. You know, you go to Chinatown, you go to Flushing, you go to heavy Asian areas. Those dumplings in those areas are like magnificent. But for Riverdale, which is the Northeast Bronx, I live in the Northwest Bronx. This is Northeast Bronx, but it's not that far away. They brought me my dumplings in a half an hour. Well, I don't remember even what I used. Was it Seamless? Was it Grubhub? Was it DoorDash? I don't remember. I'm washing it all down now, finally, with some Snapple Peach Zero Sugar. Not, you know, the they're phasing out the diets and bringing in the Zero Sugar. I'm, I'm getting used to the taste. I've gotten so used to the diet, diet versions of things. In my X-Men cup. Mm. I like it. The Zero Sugar version tries to tries to mimic the the regular peach snapple. I think that's one of the big differences that I've noticed with all these zero sugar versus diet is that many don't use aspartame or aspartame or whatever way you want to pronounce it. I've heard multiple pronunciations of that wonderful artificial sweetener, that carcinogen that all of us who have to eat and drink um, diet sodas and diet drinks and diet uh snacks have to imbibe but um the zero sugar is growing on me because it tries to taste like it's an approximation of the taste of regular snapple peach which i also love before i became diabetic i loved all snapples i've always been i've always wondered like why the hell are there not more diet snapple versions there's so many great snapple flavors why are there not diet versions but maybe there'll be some more zero sugars who knows me gusta so frito lovers, mira, me comí todo, me jalté de dumplings. I am good and full of dumplings. I hope you guys are doing well. Like I said, try to bring you some taste test videos, trying to like, you know, tu, tu sabes, bring some new flavor to it. I'm thinking of getting a TikTok so I can dance salsa on it. No. <laughs> I want to do a food TikTok, but I don't want it to be corny or derivative. Not to say that the TikToks, food-based TikToks and mukbangers who have TikToks are derivative and corny they're not i just don't want mine to be corny and derivative but I i'm thinking of getting on tiktok I mean, un tiktok un, un tiki tiki who knows like my mother would say un tiki tiki all right you guys so frito lovers como siempre go out there go taste for yourself go have some culinary adventures i hope to see you soon como siempre mucho mucho amor